So now it's the, turn, the time of, for Osholia from the University of Budapest. So I, I come from uh, the University of Budapest, and um, uh, I would like now to present a, a research topic that's uh, very dominant in, in uh, our tradition. Uh, this is uh, the research on student teachers and teachers' beliefs uh, on the field of education, and I think it's very important um, in our university and also in Hungary because um, the practitioner, practitioners, uh, uh, teacher educators are really familiar with these uh, research studies and they are really accepted uh, and uh, uh, that's why it's really useful in their practice too and it's something that really influenced their practice in teacher education. Also this is a research tradition in uh, our university uh, that has a long uh, tradition and uh, that really influences new research studies too so I think that's why it's also an important uh, area in our university and of course uh, it's something that uh, uh, might have some input for uh, official education policy too, but it's uh, just a little uh, minor, so it's uh, not a, a real impact, of course, but we try <laughs> what we can. Uh, yes. Um, is it working or...? Side here, no? Okay, sorry. Okay, I, I pushed another button. So uh, uh, today I would like to uh, um, discuss uh, uh, shortly the theoretical framework of uh, beliefs because I think it's uh, uh, really familiar to everybody, so only briefly. Uh, then the main uh, issue would be the state-of-the-art research studies on teachers' beliefs. Um, I would like to highlight the strengths and uh, the major findings of this field, and I had have uh, three main uh, uh, perspectives on it. Um, and afterwards, finally, I would like to uh, introduce some um, further uh, studies, some ideas, how to proceed, um, and we can, of course, discuss it later. Uh, so, uh, first of all, I, I think it's uh, really important that uh, almost everybody agree on that the quality of teacher is uh, what matters in, in education and it really influences the education at uh, all. Uh, and uh, Cochrane Smith and uh, Fry's uh, uh, things that is um, uh, uh, quality, uh, how we put, um, how, how the, so the quality, uh, it can be very different uh, uh, from the point of uh, every research studies and uh, we really didn't, don't really agree on what constitutes uh, quality. Um, there are many impacts, uh, for example, uh, research paradigms that influences how we think about it, also under our understanding of professional development, also the movement of educational accountability, and uh, uh, they use a framework uh, how to approach to teacher education. It, it's, it's mainly based on the American research studies and in the international studies, uh, but I, I think it's uh, really helpful when we 
put our research studies in this framework. So mainly, of course, uh, uh, we uh, think about teacher education as a problem of learning in our university. It's uh, our uh, main framework. Uh, we focus on how to, how to lear learn uh, teaching and how to have this uh, continuous uh, learning process. But uh, I would like to add that uh, nowadays, uh, usually the teacher education is uh, framed more like a, a political problem. And I think those studies that we uh, conducted in our university um, could uh, also uh, have a new role in, in, in this new framework, in this uh, policy framework, because uh, um, uh, these belief studies uh, can add uh, a critical perspectives on the uh, accountability movement and the uh, direct uh, influence on, uh, on student uh, achievement uh, and uh, high quality teaching and so on. Uh, and also uh, the teacher's voice uh, can come up and in the uh, top-down reforms that are uh, usually introduced uh, according to teacher education as a policy pro problem in, in, in Hungary or in uh, uh, Middle and uh, East uh, Europe, then it uh, can be something that uh, uh, can be explicit in, in these um, uh, studies. Uh, so now uh, we can move on to the next slide. Uh, here we, uh, uh, here I uh, put some uh, uh, major uh, definition of beliefs. I, I don't want to uh, read them out loud because I, I think uh, nowadays we have a somehow a common understanding of the core elements of beliefs. Uh, in the past, uh, mainly in the 80s, uh, uh, there were lots of debates about the terminologies, about the definitions. But nowadays, I, I, I feel that uh, uh, the question and the issue is more about uh, uh, the emphasis of the different aspects uh, uh, in in beliefs. For example, I, I put it here in this figure that uh, to which, uh, which extent is it a cognitive uh, uh, factor, which extent is it an emotional factor, uh, how so is it, uh, which extent is it implicit or explicit, uh, individual or socially in nature, and so on. And uh, this um, proportion of the elements or the emphasis on the elements can, of course, influence our research studies and uh, the way we interpret our research findings and the methodologies we uh, um, we use for for our for in our research studies. Uh, now we, we we've arrived uh, to the major topic. Um, firstly, about uh, the participants in, in these uh, uh, research studies on beliefs. Um, I think in uh, the international trend and also in Hungary. Uh, the framework of continuous professional development is uh, widely accepted, but in these research uh, studies, uh, mainly the student teachers and the teachers' uh, beliefs are uh, uh, investigated and usually separately. Uh, and um, it's a specific, uh, and, and of course, uh, in, if we are thinking about um, uh, continuous professional development. Only few studies are focused on the uh, on the participants in the middle, uh, and uh, uh, there is another aspect of this uh, question that. Uh, um, um, in many research studies, specific subject teachers are involved. And uh, in Hungary, there is a tradition that uh, uh, from uh, the participants are come from different uh, subject, subject, uh, subjects, and usually they are, their beliefs are compared in the, uh, in the research study. And uh, when we move on to the methodologies, uh, we have uh, two 
mainly two uh, types of uh, the two directions. The first part uh, where we have uh, really strengths in qualitative methods, those are uh, concerned to uh, student teachers' beliefs usually. And um, these research studies are mainly PhD studies. And the other one, uh, uh, the recurrent, we have a recurrent research study. It's uh, about uh, teachers' uh, beliefs about uh, uh, core elements of uh, education and about uh, their work and um, uh, it's uh, it's in a bigger uh, sample uh, which is not uh, representative in the whole uh, so in Hungary but uh, which uh, try to be stratified uh, for uh, elementary school teachers uh, secondary school teachers and uh, 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 yeah and we have uh, high school teachers too. Uh, n now I would like to show only some uh, example uh, for for the two types of uh, research methodology. In the first one, there are lots of uh, um, uh, uh, interesting and and creative. Uh, uh, methods, uh, metaphors, as you, as we can hear in Anka's presentation, we also have uh, some studies on it, and uh, there are uh, uh, pair concept uh, concerning mind in in mind maps, and also some narrative studies, and I, I would like to show just uh, 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 this one, um, uh, this study. Uh, um, that I uh, conducted, uh, I think it uh, it shows really that uh, these uh, qualitative research studies uh, had um, a really deep understanding of uh, of the be belief system, and um, uh, we've uh, usually find uh, not a black and white picture like uh, in those dichotomous model like uh, constructivist or transmission. Uh, and uh, it's uh, it's really um, interesting that uh, different aspects of the beliefs how can they be combined? For example, here we looked uh, stories, uh, student teacher stories, and how they are uh, interpret uh, the uh, changes in learning and uh, life and identity, and how those changes. Uh, um, are, uh, comp uh, are intertwined with the uh, social world in their stories. So, for example, the, na uh, the second story uh, where someone thinks that uh, he or she uh, changes step by step at the university, at the teacher education, uh, then uh, those students usually felt that uh, the peers are more helpful than the teachers. So these are uh, really interesting uh, findings for us. Uh, and those, um, those findings are usually uh, have a quick effect on uh, on teacher training because the uh, the researcher is also a teacher educator and it, it's uh, it's uh, in her or his practice uh, in a very uh, quick moment. And the other uh, uh, study, and I will like to uh, discuss it more deeply, uh, it was uh, it based on uh, questionnaires and interviews, but the interview was really long and had uh, lots of questions, different questions, open-ended, critical incidents, metaphors, etc. And um, uh, this is the recurrency of this research study. So the first was uh, contacted in 1989, uh, and uh, uh, the second one in 2001. And uh, now we are planning a third uh, uh, research uh, study in uh, our university, and, and uh, there will be other partners too. Um, and of course, there are... Um, main points in every research study so the uh, in the core there are the teachers beliefs and how they think about their uh, work and beliefs but there are also some uh, um, differences between the 
between the studies, for example, uh, in 1989, uh, uh, the focus was on diagnosing what the uh, teachers are thinking and uh, what's behind their decision. After uh, the second uh, period, it, it was more to explore what uh, what's their uh, thinking and how and and to explore their voice. Uh, and not just diagnosing and compare their uh, their understanding with the official educational science and with educational policy. And uh, I think it's still uh, an open question that what will be uh, in the third phase. Of course, there are always uh, um, repeated questions uh, and also uh, always there are new uh, questions and uh, new frameworks to and uh, uh, about the uh, content and the uh, structure of the beliefs uh, uh, that we are that we have find uh, we can say that uh, uh, in uh, international trends uh, usually uh, the main focus is teaching learning and uh, and epistemology and uh, uh, some uh, lots of study focuses on a specific subject and uh, or or some new issues like uh, multicultural education and so on and in the hungarian context it's a it's a main trend that uh, we have a broader sense of uh, of the content in the first study it was uh, it based on the uh, three phases of uh, of teacher work, so planning, uh, interaction, uh, teaching, and and uh, evaluation, and then uh, in the next uh, study there were uh, involved core beliefs like education, instruction, child knowledge, and so on, and also the everyday the elements of the everyday work like uh, planning, motivation, differentiation, and so on. And what we found, uh, so we wanted to move, uh, so move away from this dichotomous model, and we we relied more uh, on on uh, more patterns uh, that uh, e either based on uh, some educational paradigms or based on the teachers the teacher's own voice. So, for example, uh, there was a, a framework according to educational goals that what uh, the teachers uh, think about educational goals that are based on uh, educational paradigms. For example, uh, knowledge transmission, skill development, uh, uh, personal development and knowledge construction. But for example, in the in the beliefs uh, of teaching, uh, we focused more on a teacher's voice, like uh, they said that they uh, think that content knowledge and the development of uh, thinking skills are e uh, are both uh, very important in in their mind uh, what was um, quite a shocking uh, findings uh, finding for for the team uh, that um, there were limited connections between the different fields. So, for example, what uh, a teacher th uh, thought about uh, education, child, and what uh, she or he uh, thought about uh, motivation and planning and so on. And, um, and uh, that's why um, it's, a, it's a, a real question that what, how should we go further and uh, I, I brought here uh, this uh, Corthagen model that we, uh, we've already referred to uh, it many times. Uh, I just want to highlight that in that model the beliefs are in the middle somewhere. And uh, now we feel to, um, to interpret our findings uh, uh, that we need to move uh, uh, one step forward and one step backward. That means that in this uh, model we should go to the other directions to have to get a bigger picture, and uh, that means for us that um, uh, the research team at our university uh, already made some uh, uh, some step. Uh, steps toward competencies uh, and uh, uh, some experts uh, developed uh, a competency framework uh, 
uh, that also had some official uh, uh, version and uh, I think this predefined uh, a framework we we could uh, uh, could make some input from the beliefs, uh, from the research studies of beliefs, because uh, uh, in this uh, list uh, the beliefs component uh, uh, was uh, really strong in every um, part of the competency list, and also there was one particular uh, competency, the responsibility and the dedication for further professional development, and in that uh, the core element was the uh, was to reflect uh, the teachers to their own beliefs. Okay, this is the this is my last. <laughs> last slide uh, and the the other the one step uh, uh, backward in, in the middle of uh, the teacher quality uh, the question of identity and mission uh, I think it's something that uh, more um, more uh, opportunity to our studies uh, that uh, we should uh, think about a belief system that are not that, that is not a stable and uh, not a united uh, uh, nature in nature uh, and in that is uh, always in a, in a changing process and it can be interpreted different uh, ways uh, one of can be this dialogical approach of identity uh, where uh, uh, the, the identity can be both united and also uh, um, uh, multiple and continuous and also dis discontinuous uh, and also uh, uh, it uh, the uh, Vermont and uh, his uh, colleagues uh, invented this friction in uh, learning patterns. That means that uh, um, for learning, uh, for the next step, the, the friction that uh, when the beliefs are not uh, unified and not, har and not in harmony, this is something that really uh, uh, necessary for, for further development. So I think we should... Um, uh, uh, have these uh, aspects and go go further in in that way. And of course, uh, there there have been a lot of uh, uh, research studies and findings uh, that we already have. But we also have a lot of uh, new questions. And I, I would uh, like to uh, finish with it. That uh, I think one of the major uh, questions for us nowadays that. Uh, these uh, levels that uh, Kurt Hagen uh, showed in, in his model, uh, that how are these uh, levels uh, are, are connected to each other and um, how can we um, harmonize the pre uh, predefined competency list and the individual quality of, of teachers and how can we, of course, uh, de develop it and what kinds of research can we conduct to answer these uh, questions. Uh, thank you for your attention. <laughs>